Good evening and welcome to match day four in Group E between Al Duhail and Al Nasser here at the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha. The night skies sit across this magnificent stadium. And it is all about Al Duhail who need, well, it's fair to say a pretty much a miracle. If they win their last three games, they could get to 10 points and Al Nasser would obviously have to lose their last three games. So it be a very, very faint chance for Al Duhel, but they have got to give it everything they've got in their locker tonight against the runaway leaders. 22 degrees inside the stadium, a little bit of breeze, but whether the Raffaran Stadium will actually hold any of that is another person's guess. Well, it wasn't so long ago, in fact, just two weeks ago, when these two shared a seven-goal thriller. But there have been changes to both sides ahead of this game this evening. Understandably, injury has curtailed the ever-present run of Cristiano Ronaldo in the side. I know a lot of fans were there expecting to see him, but uh, he certainly hasn't made the lineup. And there are four changes to the Al Nasser side, and just two changes to the Al Duhail side when we get the team news shortly. Atmosphere inside the stadium, though is pretty intense some big names on show still never mind and expectations are very very high well, Nasser could pretty much put themselves five points clear of Persepolis who drew earlier on today with Istiklal and that would almost seal their route into the next phase but nothing is ever certain in the world of football would have come to see the man that has set the world of Saudi Arabian football and the Pro League alight but plenty of minutes in the 38 year old's legs and it has been decided that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to get a little bit of rest and recuperation ahead of today's game have been rumours about his participation earlier on. It's put a lot of minutes into those legs and his side right in the crest of a wave here. The irony is that up until that 4-3 defeat in the Champions League by Al Nasser to over Al De Hale, Al De Hale had in the previous four meetings never lost to Al Nasser. That just goes to show you the investment plan that has been going on in the Saudi Arabian side. Marvellous, marvellous stadium here in Doha. Architecturally, it's very, very sweeping lines. The noise rolling around the stadium. that noise that will greet the players very shortly in what is a must win for Al Duhail and Al Nasser confidence is a massive thing they want to just keep rolling on through the next round of matches on the 27th of November sees Al Duhail at home to Istiklal while Al Nasser go to well, host Persepolis and then on the final weeks of the group on the 5th of December, it's Persepolis, Al Duhail and Istiglal versus Al Nasser. Something about the night skies just putting a lid on any stadia event. Just brings it all a little bit closer and all a little bit more alive. Fans from Qatar will be willing on their heroes today to upset the runaway leaders of Group E. Really a 
beautiful stadium used in the World Cup. An absolutely smart, clean, tidy. If you can't play your football here, you never play it anywhere. Quite a sweeping, relaxing stadium as well. Great home kit there of Alder Hill. The yellow and blue of Al Nasser. Will they share seven goals again this evening? Two goal Ronaldo missing from that previous match. So we're going through the Preliminaries. Semedo there. Just patting the hands of the Uzbekistan officials, match officials today. Not all from Uzbekistan, I have to say. BAR is Sivakon Puadom from Thailand. for everybody's thoughts there, Brozovic. But let's have a look, Alder Heil, they have made a couple of changes to the last team. They've gone with a pretty strong back five. Albreich is missing out, and so is Budiaf. But they are going across with uh, the likes of Bamba, Semedo and Ayman, with two wing-backs, it sounds like, as a referee. That's Shevilgis. Supported by Svenko and Gainalin. The fourth official there is Rustam Rutkulin, all from Uzbekistan. The one I just mentioned, Sivakon Tudon, is on VAR. Four changes from the side from Al Nasser. Sulaim is out, Kasem is out, Laporte is out, Ronaldo is resting. That means that they have a slightly, I would say just slightly inferior lineup without the likes of maybe Laporte and Ronaldo. But uh, they feel they have enough in the locker to see off the side. Currently sat at the foot of the table, Aldehail. Just the one point. So got in a, an earlier match with Istiklal. What a spectacle, what a place, what a shot that is. That camera high up there. Well, we set fair for match day four to be completed in Group E. Alakibi, who's going to draw the first blood? Who's going to set the tone first? It really is a cacophony of sound inside this wraparound stadium here, in the Khalifa International Stadium. That should build as we await. First moments, Sadio Mane, the household names. Always going to be a 4 1 4 1, you fancy, for Al Nasser today, with uh, Brozovic just sitting in front of four across the middle behind Sadio Mane, who we anticipate going through the centre. With a three at the back or a five at the back, defending quite simply and if they've got the ball for Al Dehail. The weight, Semedo, touch here, back to Zakaria. Ayman, that's a put it forward, Bamba just slightly forward. Bit of a shake of the leg there by Semedo, but he's managed to beat the ball out far side. 
Alan Moez gets it back to Samedo. Looks to go long. Tentative opening moments here. Bamba. That's a fine Coutinho who just slightly on his heels there. Who settles first is often the way. Tellers just drops it back to Alpha Tier. Oh, just size up his options. Tellers gets a touch near side, looks down the line, and he's strong into the back there of Garib. Looks like it's tied his up. And Alpha Tier goes back to Nawa. Alakidi and his ball out is uh, born out of pressure and goes away for a throw. And Chelsea for Alder Hale. Christophe Gaultier. That's the importance of this game and garnering points. Well, he's offered number there, Luis Castro. He's in charge of uh, a fairly expensive accumulated squad. Al Nasser. It's, it's only met, as I said, just a couple of weeks ago in a seven goal thriller. We would have known a degree of what they'd been about. But this is another game and another day. Samedo, so Yusuf Ayman, makes the angle. Has to go back to Salah Zakaria, but. KG opening, Alunga with the flick on. Near side, Ishmael Mohammed runs into trouble. In the shape of Mohammed Al Fatil. Interesting to see what position that Philip Coutinho will take. That's a lovely spin on the far side. Lovely away there. In the end, the ball through. But the list girl wasn't. Uh, as good as it could have been, but it really did let his man come in and roll in. Yusuf Ayman. Ismail Mohamed. Well, it was a target, but a little too much strength on it. Bozovic. Otavio. To play down on his near side, Abdul Garib. Kosovic is supporting, so is uh, Tellez. Alarmly. Very confident on the football, aren't they? Al Nasser. Quite happy to delay the pass and keep it safe. Tellez steps inside of Mohamed, gets dragged by. This one Mohamed demands his waves on the referee to say, yeah, I know what I've done wrong there. We're doing that too often, it could result sometimes in a yellow card. Little chance now for Anderson to lisk up. Good support here. Ball played in, headed away by Ruben Samedo for the first corner. Man wanders over. Tavia's going to swing this one in. Just drifts into the six minute. Been header away at the front post by Ismail Mohammed. Coutinho back to Ismail Mohammed. He goes back, but this time tied it up in a rather agricultural way. At the back by Al Nasser, they dump it as far as away from their penalty area as possible. And back. And 
gives the ball to run to his teammate, Kim. Moment to Samada. It's good rotation in the middle of the park. Kim goes forward. Remember, have made the run, but that was far too easy for Al Fatil to just tidy up here. Otavio. Teles. Otavio again. Kosovic. Big diagonal, as you can see. Hansen to Liska. Gets inside of Mohamed Al Naimi. To Liska with a straight ball through. Great defensive work by Yusef. I might, although he's lost out, but Coutinho picks up the loose ball as it runs away from the, the challenge. Marvel makes a run through the centre, but Alunga's the option. Back to Kim. Both managers, you can see, just peering down on the touchline. But no, the counter advantage point here. Very, very animated. Madiba. Tomato, Alimi. No longer the target again to run in behind, but uh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's been no foul's been given by the referee. Real chance here, and it's 1 0, and it's Coutinho. Well, they'll have a look at that one. The referee wave play on. The man that went down was Mohamed Al Fakhtil, but Coutinho opens the scoring. I'm sure the man on the VAR, Sivakorn uh, Pudum, will be looking at this. But Aldo Hale take the lead, and there's a little coming together between Alunga and Al Fatil, who just crumbles. I can see now why the referee says you just fell over, and then the ball's rolled in, and Coutinho prods it home. Picked out well, and Philip Coutinho. Pops it past Noaf Alakidi, and what a dream start! And Al Nasser surround the referee here, Tanta Shevilgis. Having seen it in slow motion, Mohamed Al Fatil just collapsed in a heap. The two, Goltier, Christophe Goltier there and Luis Castro, having a few words, fairly animated. Make your own minds up here, you're seeing it like everybody else, but, wow. Just looked as though he was waiting to be touched to fall over to me, but I'm not the referee. It's now the interpretation of the rules or the laws of association football that need to be checked. What Philip Coutinho did, and Lunga did, was carry on, put the ball in the back of the net, and they've allowed it now to turn into a heated debate. It's been given, the goal has been given. And uh, Al Nasser find themselves a goal down already. Philip Coutinho. Impressive in his Liverpool days. Off to Barcelona for a mega amount of money. Never really settled there. Was seen as a bit of a coup when he went to Aston Villa. But with uh, Emiliano Buendia in a similar role to him. Failed to establish himself and now finds himself here at Aldeal on a season-long loan. Well, whatever they're paying him, he would have repaid that with a lovely little toe poke to an longer cross. Nice hockey, we always go back two passes for assists, and I think that Al Fatil has got an assist in that by crumpling like a piece of uh, hard toilet paper under the no challenge whatsoever, really, from Michael Alunga. Flag is up for offside in that attack. I think it's a very brave play there by our referee today, Tante Shavilgis. He was right on top of that decision. When you saw it in slow motion, it was a little bit. Yeah, we know that players do wait for a little bit of bodily contact before going to ground. 
Well, I'd say Mohamed Al Fatlil went down far too easy, in my opinion, and indeed your referee's opinion. That allowed Lunga to just cross it in for the toe poke by Coutinho to put Alderheil a goal up, and it's exactly really what this game needed. There's quite a delay here at the moment, I'm not sure what they're checking out. Checking out with the offside at that point that went in, they're saying that uh, Taliska had got himself offside, but they're just double-checking everything's nailed on. VAR has been in the world's eyes very very much over the last few weeks certainly in the Premier League well that man certainly isn't happy and uh, there was an Australian called Ange Postacoglu last night who wasn't overly impressed with the intervention there has to be maybe at some point uh, a line drawn in the sand with VAR as to where they go back last night's game between Chelsea and Tottenham in the Premier League started off with an offside shout for a goal, went on to a possible penalty on Raheem Sterling and then after that went on to a clear kick by Romero on the shins of Enzo Fernandez. so they checked three things in the space of a few minutes and uh, I think that's what's angering a lot of people is to exactly where you can go back to Somebody with the humour of myself will possibly say, well, hang on a minute, three games ago, 27th minute, there was a free kick we should have had and didn't give, so if that had gone wrong, those sliding doors of life would have changed and we would never have got to this point now. But that's because I'm a cynic, but I'm enjoying Al Duhail 1, Al Nasser 0 here. Rosevich. The impetus gained here by Al Duhail is uh, simply quite outstanding, if I'm honest with you. you. Look at the history of these two sides in the AFC Champions League. Now, Nasser were runners-up in 1995. Round of 16 in 2011, group stage in 15 and 16, quarter-finalist in 19, semi-finalist in 2021 and indeed 2020, so they've got a bit of history in it without actually winning it, Al Nasser. Maybe wants to go a step further this season. Otavio under pressure from Bamba. Brozovic spreads the ball out far side. Alganam sends it back, Brozovic gets the ball again, Alganam. Alamri. Fatil and Teles. It's a nice ball. Picks up a lovely little run there. Good little give and go. Marnie. I haven't mentioned his name much at all. Brozovic wins it back. Teles. Algarib has given it away, and Coutinho has a chance now to set Aldo Hale off again. I'm wondering this referee, Tanta Chevrolet, I'm going to give him a. Another shout there, that was another player that was just looking for a bit of contact. Lovely give and go, Samedo clears second corner of the game coming up for Al Nasser. He might have got a little bit of an injury there himself. And uh, another hail. Best performance, quarter finalist in 2018. Been uh, ever present since 2012 in the Champions League. Did win the AFC way back when, when it put forward as the Champions League. But this corner will be swung in 15 minutes on the clock. Otavio hangs it up high. Samedo gets a header on it. Algarib. The Brozovic. Oh, prompting Algarib. Savio will try and slow a few things out now. Until the man that uh, was complicit in the lead up to the goal. This is good harrowing. 
good harrying, I should say, not harrowing, by the side in grey, Elder Heil. Kortovic is having a more and more influential role all the time. Algonam to Liska. Algonam is the offside. Going to get the ball in. It's a step inside Al Naimi to Liska. Mane. Behind Teles. Teles delivers. Bambas back there. Taliska with a header. That goal is certainly had a little bit of a stinging sensation to the leadership qualities of Al Nasser in this group. Plus has gone. Sicario so goes long, no longer the target. Comes off the head there of Alamri. Yeah, what I'm going to do is maybe start off, if you're interested out there, a podcast on the fashion sense of head coaches and managers around the world. They've all got a certain, I shouldn't say quiet, it has to be said, because the ball is played back. Semedo, back to Salah Zakaria. Zakaria drills it through the centre, that's easy for Batil to head down to Teles. Teles got options here, and the option he gives is Abdul Garibipa. Savio always willing to accept the ball, but uh, being forced to go back. Coutinho has a man to shut him down. There's uh, Al-Naji that just drifts into the lines at the moment, but again, it's nicely picked up Ishmael Mohamed. Lovely little turn there by Coutinho. And uh, Bamba breaks out. Just a little flick off the boot. And Otavio looking around and saying, we have to match the desire being shown by our host today because they uh, got themselves an opportunity, something to hang their hat on now. And uh, Otavio scoops it long. Al Garib trying to run it behind. Kim will track him down. Al Garib. Plays it into the centre, little layoff, real chance for Brozovic. Once on his left, runs into the wall that is Ruben Semedo. Semedo wins the ball back. Coutinho, options. Can he send it down this near side? Ismail Mohamed. Chance to run at his man. Resets to Coutinho. Kim comes to support. I think that Ruben Semedo is still down. Uh, been wrestled to the floor after a very good clearance, it has to be said. Let's watch it again here. The ball's played in. Semedo goes out of Brozovic, wins the. Yeah, I just think it's inadvertent. If you notice, just after. Tomato goes down. It's the foot there that goes down accidentally of Brozovic, the leading two studs, which would have uh, got onto a piece of flesh that's uh, pretty bony, I would say. Different angle there on El Nas is uh, pushed on Alfatil. Seems a little bit more of a hand on that. Luis Castro is uh, <laughs> remonstrating. In comes Christophe Golgier. And this is what I say about the fashion. There's a light blue shirt there of Golgier, which looks very smart and very casual, very trimmed and very fitted. And the black T-shirt there, worn well by Luis Castro. You know, I'm sure that T-shirt costs more than I earn for doing this commentary, but it's just a plain black T-shirt, nevertheless.
Coutinho rolls the ball back to Kim. Semedo's on. Bamba to Semedo. Semedo hasn't got a lot of options, but he's looking for the run of Alunga. Headed away by Fatil. Brozovic picks up the loose ball. Taliska. The overlap comes from Algarab. Next to go back to Alamri. Back to Algarab. The run in behind by Mane. Well tracked by Semedo. The flag goes up anyway. Trying to use Sadio Mane as the lone striker in a, almost a 4 1 4 1 situation. Our referee may well be having a word with the goalkeeper for warning them that delaying the restart will result in a yellow card. Coutinho, the goal scorer, back to Semedo. Back to Sicaria. Salah Sicaria just elects to go long now. Longer will be the target. Fatil wins a header. Bamba's got an easy chance to set things going. Coutinho has. Uh, as is his want, it's popping up everywhere at the moment. Far side now to Almoez. Back inside it goes Medibo to Coutinho. Almoez with a bit of time and space now to run at Alganam. Goes outside him, whips it across the face. Oh, what a great ball that was. A longer had got himself just fractionally in front of the ball as it came in, just slightly behind him. What a lovely ball in that was by Ali Almoez. First time he got isolated with the right back, Sultan Alganam, and he took him on and fisted across the face of goal. Mane. That's pulled back there by Yusuf Ayman. And that, that's the line in the sand that I said. First couple of minutes, definitely a pullback, no yellow card, and now Yusuf gets a yellow card for a very similar offence to what went on in the first couple of minutes of the game. There's not a lot in that. Yes, he has put his arm around him. But you do wonder what's the difference. The only difference is timing in the match. Brozovic. Side. It goes to Alamri. Looking for Mane. I think Mane's offside here. The flag will go up. Kim Shepherds the ball out of play. Mane keeps it in. Indeed, the flag goes up on the far side. At the moment, Sadio Mane is just well, he's trying to play right on the shoulder there. The man just picked up a yellow card, Yusuf Ayman. What to do is maybe just bend his run a touch. And then I think he'll find himself with a bit more profit out of his runs. Semedo, Medibo. Just been a little too straight in the centre. Good work by Bamba, first time ball. And Noah sees. Well, Ganam turn it back. Noah. Option to the left back, Alex Tellez. Fatil. Alganam. Taliska Alganam. And now she loses out. Bamba. Converted today. More of a defensive midfielder. Coutinho. Well, not a bad idea, but I think Ishmael Mohammed realised quite quickly that I had too much legs on him. is definitely going to be, in American football terms, the quarterback today for Al Nasser. And I think whilst he might want to come in deep and start play from deep, you feel it's a little too deep at the moment. Tellez on the ball. Al Fatil. Well, 
for the captain. Alganam got away from one, but again, lovely work by Ruben Semedo, tracked the run of Mane. It's feeling as though there's a little bit of pressure being brought to Bernard, Brozovic, dispossessed by Bamba. Ali Al Moes, Coutinho, no foul given. Referee likes to let things play. Lovely little back heel on Naji. Taliska, 1 2 on the spin. Taliska, what a goal that is! He's come in from that far side of the pitch and then he's just drilled an absolute sweet right foot shot in there by Anderson Taliska. What a fine strike from. 19 yards into the keeper's bottom left-hand corner. Really was a fine strike. Span on the ball beautifully. Bamba thought he was fouled there by Otavio, but the referee likes to play things on. Al Naji Taliska here, look, rolls it in, gets it back from Al Garib, and it sits perfectly. Lovely shield as well there by the centre half. Ruben Semedo, which meant that Salah Zakaria wouldn't have seen it until it was beyond the centre half. But that was a fine strike. One apiece. And uh, a fine, fine equaliser. Well, they shared seven goals two weeks ago, they've shared two in 28. I would be clever enough to do some modification and some division, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to leave you with that, that anything can happen in the next 63 minutes. Zakaria just it down by Teles. Just said moments ago that you fancied Al Nasser would just starting to grow into the contest, Brozovic. Garib, Brozovic. How much wind out of the sails of the home side has been taken. This one, Mohamed back to Kim. Kim to Yusuf Ayman. So is Akari, that's going to have to go long, you fancy here. Yusuf, the man with the yellow card. Steps inside the challenge of Sami Al Naji. Coutinho back to Bamba. Ibra Bamba gets in near side to Ismail Mohamed. Couldn't go forward because Alunga had drifted into an offside position. The only option was a cross field pass, but he elected not to go that way. Coutinho's on the football now. Scorer for Duhail looks for the run heel of Ismail Mohamed. He brings it down. Bamba with a shot. Never really got underneath it. Well, he got underneath it, OK. Never really got it down low enough to get the shot on the volley away. Always sliced up and under it. Half an hour into the contest. It is a very nice looking contest, evenly balanced at the moment. Anaji, Octavio. Algaram. Mane, Algaram, Octavio. And Nasser just started to strike it around there. That crossfield ball is a little bit ambitious. Ismail Mohamed, Coutinho, Madibo, Coutinho, Kim. I'm just looking at the way that. Anderson Taliska is now playing. He started off attacking from the right of a four behind Sadio Mane. Now looks Mane has dropped off and Taliska's gone through the centre. Well, Moes couldn't make his mind up. And Ali Moes is having uh, a fairly lively chat with his uh, own teammate regarding making a run then we won't end up fouling people. Abdul Garib, Alex Teles. Goal scorer Taliska. 
He's picked that man out, but I don't think that was actually the man he was trying. The man on the ball now, Mane, was the one he was going for. Brozovic to Teles. So suddenly get the feeling down in front of us, Christophe Gaultier is now sort of urging his side to pick up their players as uh, Al Nasser just starting to find a bit of space here. Especially here, Brozovic, who's uh, picking a nice pass out. Big break, Al Ghanam inside his man. Al Ghanam still pulls it back. Little toe by Samba, cleared by Kim, headed away by Al Moes. Teles from distance. Well, he's had a real good go there. Let's what a very good thumping. And uh, the former Man United man wasn't a million miles away. It was, yes, very much so, that man there in your picture. It was one that lifted you out of your seat as you followed it goalwards. Zakaria is down, currently nursing a little bit of a injury. As we just see the build-up to the goal, this is a lovely spin by Thaliska. He used the traffic of the centre-half in front of him there that would have kept Zakaria guessing exactly where it was, and then when he would have seen him, you know, the shot from 24 yards, but he wouldn't have seen it from about 18 yards, by which time he'd have had to have sorted himself out and get across. A lot of happiness there from Luis Castro, we just saw. What I did find really strange is both goals have had elements of doubt in the build-up. Olunga with an arm on the back of Al Fatil, who fell to the floor, which upset Luis Castro. And then we saw the challenge by Otavio on Bamba in the build up to the goal by Talisca. Al Moes stands a deep ball across the face of goal. Ismail Mohamed wins a header, but it's easy gathered there by Noah Alakidi. Now operating on the right, was through the centre. Lovely little pick out there. Otavio has got a bit of time and space. Goes cross field, real chance here. Abdul Garib gets it down. Garib, oh! Done everything apart from below the inside of the net. Talisca was offside, brought it down. Lovely, got inside Kim. Got the shot, wrong footed to keep up. Billowed the outside of the side netting. All of a sudden, well, the Hiles bright start has evaporated, and they're now in a game against the leaders of Group E, the runaway leaders. Time there. Very nicely done by Al Amri, just chested it down from the dropping ball at a sky from the keeper. Confidence is certainly flowing in the side of Al Nasser. Mane's head up. Semedo back to Zakaria. Zakaria almost picked a nice pass out there, but uh, good defensive work by Al Amri. Brozovic. Teles, graphic shows you how the possession is really going the way of Al Nasi. You just felt that they started, they were stung by the goal. And they just started to dominate possession and uh, they've turned that possession into the equaliser. And they're now allowing that possession to be swelled by the tempo that they are putting and momentum they're putting into the game. Matil, Al Ghanam. Al Ghanam. 
Just got a sense now that Aldo Hale uh, containing rather than trying to catch out the visitors. Brozovic. Teles has got himself a long way forward. Lovely ball to the edge of the box. Kim's got to win this. He's uh, struggled. And Naji back out. Here's a real chance. Got Eve. Good save. And it comes in. Alnaji. Fine strike this. Dipped on the keeper. He did the best he could there. Salo Sicardia. But again, it's a wave of yellow coming forward for Al Nasser. Mane. Taliska winds up again. It's 2 1 on 37. Taliska with his second. Just drove it past the keeper. It looked almost a little too easy. Salah Zakaria completely flat footed. Well, he's enjoying himself. You can't believe he's got the freedom of the Khalifa International Stadium at the moment, Anderson Taliska. Ball's given away by Coutinho. Just wanders into space here. Look, so much space. One touch. At least 32 out. And he just drives it again. We get a picture here that... It... Fairness to Salah Zakaria. He's flat-footed. But he's got a clear sight of it. But it doesn't matter. Well, the higher one, Al Nasser two. And all of a sudden... Christophe Gaultier. Has uh, got to try and. Still not sure about white trainers with black trousers, but that's another thing. Um, I think they just. He's got to find something from his troops at the moment. Madibo, Kim, Madibo again. Coutinho, who enjoyed a fine start to the game. That's at Ali Almoes. Almoes goes outside his man, gets a little bit of a trailing leg from Sultan Al Gadan. You know, I wouldn't have seen that until I seen the replay. <laughs> a little tread on the old uh, Tootsie. And the boots are so lightweight nowadays, that's exactly when you get the old uh, metatarsal injuries. Well, can Aldo Hale strike back quickly to bring some parity to the scoreline? And just uh, give Al Nasser a little something to think about. Coutinho. Olunga and Samedo are there. It's a decent ball in. And it's two goal to Liska that heads it away for the first corner of the match. But Al Duhail. First time to really see how well oiled the set piece is. Nice one in there. Keeper never really got there. But Mr. Taliska thumps it as far away as possible. Kim. All the way back to Salah Zagalia. Asim Madibo. Ruben Samedo. Asibo starts to turn here. And that. Him. Coutinho. This is all done as you can see inside their own half. Coutinho finds a bit of space and looks for Ali Almoes. Can he reach it? He can. Can he take on Al Ghanam? It's back to Ibra. Bamba. And you heard the pause in my voice. I said, Ibra, I thought this was going goalwards. You know what thought did there? Put too much emphasis on the young man. Naturally a centre-half, that's the way you clear your lines. Got a cross there, but... 
still not 100% sure as I look at those replays that Salah Sicaria maybe could have done a, a wee bit better. Teles inside his man, Ismail Mohamed gets a toe in, Yusuf Ayman. Ismail Mohamed, head down, had a bit of space to go into, but the Manchester United man got back very quickly. Brozovic does well. Garib, Otavio, Bamba breaks it up as his job is supposed to do. Alunga holds off his man, Coutinho. Surely flat in there, and it's a free kick. And if anything, I can tell you that's a little too close for a lot of people. Takes a very, very good man from about 20 yards out to get the ball up and down. Lovariga there from Sami Al Naji. Experience will tell you here that. You've got to get your laces through this. I don't think we're going to get this up and down to really worry Noah Alakidi in goal. They will put the draft exclude of the man laying down behind the wall to avoid the one under the wall. If I was looking at this, I'd be going short and then across to Coutinho's left here. Coutinho has a go. It's always going to be shut down. In fact, it was the Butox of Sadio Mane that cleared it. And the man with a lot of uh, thought going on inside his head. Just off Galtier. This man, Mohamed, with a quick feet. Kim tries to flick it over the top. Garib gets it down. Al Fatil. Get a round of applause from his manager, Luis Castro, because it allows them to set. The ball's out of play. Some sides say, right, we can deal with it now, we can all get back in position. Kim to Madibo, Madibo gets it back. Bamba loses out to Otavio. On Naji on the drive, a real chance here. Taliska's got to watch his line, surely. Mane. Very cool head there. Garib, Teles, Brozovic, Teles, Brozovic, they'll just keep that ball. Very useful outfit, Al Nasser. Doesn't need me to tell you that, but they're quite accomplished. Elder Heil have done well to win it back. Al Moez, Alunga on his own and forced wide. El Moez, that's going to be offside. It's wide anyway. This my Mohamed, I would say, was a good two yards offside. We needed to finish it to make everybody work and have a little look at here. As I say early, you get the ball in the back of the net and let the arguments follow. So, of course, it's my Mohamed. Raised the ball against the forehead and wide of Alakidis left post. Emrick Laporte and Cristiano Ronaldo missing from this side. Tells you that they've got some strength in their squad at the moment. Al Nasser. Expectancy from most of the people in the Rana Club will be that they will go very close to. Uh, the end game in the AFC Champions League and they'll certainly be expected to uh, go a long way forward don't throw the ball away at Yusuf Ayman because you do that you're already on a yellow card just let his men drop off in there Sami Al Naji We've got four additional minutes in the first half to be played, as you can see. We 
trying to accessorise. Luis Castro's done well. He's got the little bit of uh, white emblazoned on the training shoes, low down, but predominantly black to go with the jeans and the the t-shirt combo, which is which I think is it works a little bit better than the stark contrast in white trainers on the bottom of black suit trousers. I am open to uh, other comments regarding that, but I, I feel there is some trend setting to be done. Ball lofted forward. Chance here. Well, Salah Zakari has come out and won the header. Mane was putting an awful lot of pressure on Mohamed Al Naimi. You just feel, you just sense at the moment. Almost like a Manchester City in the AFC Champions League. They just are very comfortable in what they're doing. Tell us. Back to Brozovic. Alamri, Brozovic again. There's always somebody willing to accept the ball and comfortable on it. Garib, Otavio. Going to be space. Goes through to Taliska, who's hit him from there before. Mane with a good spin. Has he taken or drawn the foul? He's gone down in a heap. I just fancied there that the old left back Mohamed Al Naimi had just got himself the wrong side there. That seems okay now, Mr. Mane. Coutinho, former Liverpool teammate of Sim uh, Madibo, has given it straight to Otavio. And that's very comfortable. Mane. Ogunam just started to stroke the ball around and you just sort of see a little bit of deflation inside the bodies and the mindsets of Aldo Hale at the moment. We do uh, wonder, lovely throw that is. Olamaji, that's Al-Fatil. Tellez with loads of space, Garib. Look in the touchline. Kim faces him, goes inside. Al Naji to Liska again. Mane. It's a sense of inevitability at the moment. Every time Al Nasser are on the ball, Otavio. Al Ghanam. Otavio again pulls it back. What a chance there across the face and put wide ultimately. Al Naji thinks there was a hand in there. Ruben Semedo's there as well. Points to his ear. We'll have a little look. They just toyed with Alder Hale. Shot goes in. And I'm struggling to see where the hand is there. And in fairness to Sami Al Naji, I think that's the underside of the thigh. But fair play to that man in your picture. That to Chef Ilgis. Very quickly on to Sivakon Gudom. The AR, just to have a quick look. Sorted that one out nice and quickly, which isn't always the way with the AR. Samedo. We're into time added on at the end of time added on. It's now to our referee. He says that that's enough. There's going to be no forward play. But what a first half we've had here at the Khalifa Stadium. A couple of interesting calls, Coutinho getting the first goal, turning in a Lunga cross after it looked as though Fatil had thought he'd been fouled by a Lunga. But then the game had started to go the way of the Giants, the leaders of the group as they headed towards the end of Alderheil. Taliska got the first with a lovely spin on the edge of the box, or oh, 22 yards out, fired it low past the Correa for 1-1, and then just 10 minutes later, from a little further out, flat-footed Zakaria put it into the bottom corner for 2-1. Al Nasser looked very, very comfortable. Al Hale ended the half looking as though they were trying to contain more than actually go and score goals. But here at the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha, at the break, it is Al Hale 1, Al Nasser 2.
Hello and welcome back to this Champions League Group E match day four qualifier between Al Duhail and Al Nasser from the Khalifa International Stadium here in Doha. And what a first half we've had. The home side would have had their hopes massively buoyed in the eighth minute when Philip Coutinho toe poked home across by Alunga. After a little bit of consternation between Alunga taking the ball off of a crumbling Al Fatil, but the goal stood. Only to see Al Nasser awake from that little jab to the ribs and start to move forward in menacing form. The side at the top of the table. A little subtle switch saw Mane go from running through the centre for Al Nasser out to the right hand side and. Anson Taliska coming through the centre and he pulled a lovely spin off his man Madibo and finished on 27 minutes into the bottom of uh, Zakarias, bottom left hand corner for 1 1 from fully 22 yards. Used Ruben Semedo as a cover for the shot and then 10 minutes later, the same combination really. Anderson Taliska this time 30 yards out, plenty of space. Did hit it as sweet as a nut and completely flat footed Salah Zakaria in goal for Alderheil to give Al Nasser a 2 1 lead at the break. And uh, Alderheil, who sit at the foot of the table in Group E, had the slimmest of slim hopes of trying to make their way up the table. And they feel as though they have got a mountain to climb inside their own barn, so to speak. Just quickly run through the sides for you, the home side, Sakari in goal, a back three of Ayman on the yellow card, Samedo and Bamba. Bamba, though, pushes a little further forward. Wing-backs in uh, Kim Moon Juan and Mohamed al Naimi. Then it's a singular figure of Asim Maribo alone. Ismail Mohamed, Philip Coutinho and Ali al Moers to support Michael Alunga at the top of the park. For the side from Al Nasser, rested Cristiano Ronaldo today. No Aymeric report either, but in goal they've got Nawaf Alakidi, former Manchester United left back in Telles, centre halves of Al Fatil and Al Amri, captain Al Ghanam, ever present in this Champions League run at the moment. The right back, Brozovic sits, and then it is Al Garib, Sadio Mane. Otavio and El Naji. And Anderson Talisa, the man that's causing the damage through the centre now. Teles. Mane. Ismail Mohamed steps in. Anson Madibo to Coutinho. He's chatting in the commentary box at half time. Regarding. Otavio, who's got himself further forward to make things happen for Al Nasser, where Philip Coutinho, who had a pretty impressive first 10 minutes, has sort of somewhat fizzed out like a cheap firework in the ranks for Al Duhail. He hasn't given up, but he's, he's had to go deeper and deeper and deeper, and of course, the deeper you are, the less effect you can have as you try to penetrate the other side's defensive zone. Which sounds very Americanized, and I apologize, but this is soccer. Teles, Brozovic, that's a bit of a blind one. Al Naji will get there first. Otavio, Brozovic. And there was a certain relentlessness about Al Nasser from about 12 minutes into the first half. They just stroked the ball around. Sometimes I can be looking at it and thinking we're well, just going sideways and backwards but there was just always an option for them it was relentless they just moved the ball into the right areas moved it with tempo as they're doing here Mane and that just gives you that sense of inevitability Brozovic goes long here then he was the target headed away by Kim Coutinho to Madibo but Never really had the ball under control, which allows Otavio just to pick his path to Mane. Got caught late. And I think we'll have a little brandish there of the yellow card. Asim Madibo finds himself giving a card of the yellow variety. It's 
still protests his innocence, pointing to one from yesteryear to say, why didn't you give one there? Not quite so sure there needs to be the full open check your filling scream of the mouth there from Otavio because uh, seen that much contact. Otavio. around the stadium there is here it's, it's, it's a lovely it's an immaculate stadium made for the world cup as we say but it is just gorgeous Mane. Alamri. Rosovic. Teles. it's always an option isn't there that makes the options quite a long time. They've got uh, two perpetual motion people in Brozovic and Otavio. Teles enjoying himself here. Otavio, Teles goes for the underlapping run. Kim gets it back to Zaccardia, he just shovels it away. But there is the rather inaccurate ball forward, albeit from the goalkeeper Salah Zaccardia, but it just gives the possession back to Al Nasser, who are quite happy and comfortable on the ball there. Afatil is uh, being put under pressure. Coutinho, Olunga, chance him to break forward. Al Moes is there. Lovely clearance by Lamri. Otavio spins really nicely, steps away from Madiba. He's got to be careful, he's on a yellow. Ismail Mohamed does well to win it back, though. And then blindly passes it to Coutinho and allows uh, Sami Al Naji to take it away. Another plus point for a very good side is the work they do off the football. Samuel Nagy there. Got himself back. Just pick the pocket of the Alder Hale players to make sure and ensure that Al Nasser have the football. Brozovic. Stretching here. Can Marnie get there? Not the electric pace of old there from Sadio Mane. Liverpool to Bayern Munich. To Al Nasser. Luis Castro. He's uh, attempting to get his 10,000 steps in, and he can do so in that technical area, which is uh, gargantuan in fairness down below us. Yusuf Ayman. Coutinho. Tomato. There's no Mohammed inside the Kim, but see the difference in the passing. The, the, the triangular passing, a little bit more sedate here from Alder Highland. It's all been in that sort of six yards, one half of the halfway line and into their own half. Now they go for the ball effectively to nothing. Ibra Bamba is the man that's going for it, but it just well, seems to be a lack of when you look at the two styles of passing there there seems to be a lack of forward movement to allow them to try and get in behind Al Nasser whereas Al Nasser they will go long they will go short at the moment Garib has the ball Otavio it'll go back to the center half Brozovic is willing already The options are there. Well, Naji back to Al Fatil. The run on this near side. Al Galan brings it down. Samada with a header away. It just seems a bit more purpose, is what I'm trying to get across in the, the movement and the passing of Al Nasser. People might scream at the television sets and say, well, the Saudi side have spent quite a bit of money. Albeit, I, I understand that, but. Talking of a match situation here, I'm looking at uh, pound shillings and pence on the field of play. Madibo to Coutinho, Samedo. Bamba. El Moes, Kim's got space inside, picked out nicely, but uh, Kim had chance to open his body out and look the other way. 
Madibo, Coutinho. And uh, Ibrahim Bamba has been off in a different direction to the pass from Coutinho. And uh, to talk about being precious with the football. Go back into the days of black and white and brass robins to talk about a football manager whose uh, legendary status in the game is quite something. Brian Clough. Football's a simple game. He used to give simple quotes. If you've got the ball, they can't score. And if you're working hard to get the ball, then don't give it back, is what I'd say to Alderheil. Bamba this time is trying to break through. A little too straight there from Philip Coutinho. Now off. Alamri, Brozovic. Just played it through, and Brozovic now is on the move forward. Everything to his left. Teles will get it. Onaji. Look at Otavio there. Bamba's a good 10, 15 yards off him in the centre circle. He'll be an option in just a moment. And it's the options that they've given their side when they're on the football. They've always got at least two passes and two options. Brozovic. He's got left and right if he wants to be expansive. Doesn't need to. Can just play with the ball here. Nasu with a nice tracking run, opens up the space and a real chance here, good header away ultimately, but you saw the run on this near side of Sultan al -Ghanam. al -Amri. with a fairly hefty ball back, Otavio. al -Ghanam. around the corner by al Naji. Mane gets away, al -Ghanam is with him. Kim tied his up, possibly wasn't the ball Barney should have played. Bamba with a strong challenge, but Al Nasser still on the football. Brozovic, Al Ghanam. Brozovic again. Was he clipped? Now we've got a few things to be sorted out. Referee has wafted a card. Otavio is still down. I don't know who the card went to. Mr. Bamba. And uh, it's safe to say he got there when he could. Fairness well, to the man in your picture. He's worked very hard. Ibra Bamba. Mind a full blooded scream with something like that because that would have actually hurt. Waiting for more there, Luis Castro on his side. I think, uh, as best I can say, pretty, <laughs> pretty much in control of this game. Albeit only a goal to the good. Philip Gaultier is now just checking five down bread that's put and grilled that's toast maybe his chances of the AFC Champions League are being toasted as we speak by Al Nasser here leading by two goals to one Al Amri Brozovic Teles Galeibri's uh, made a run down Taliska has got off to a header from Yusuf. Samedo with the block. And now the flag has gone up for offside anyway. Time 
Coutinho just given Damber a little shove in the back there. Coutinho. Ismail Mohamed. Kim. Coutinho trying to work things. And San Madibo. Ali Almois. Of Ayman. Almoes with a turn. Coutinho. Kim. Coutinho. Working hard to try and work an opening here. Alunga can't get that. And in the end, Alganal gets it back. That's cleared by Noah Okidi. Lovely challenge that was by Al Naimi. Well, Philip Coutinho's now getting it in the right areas, but can he tweak enough here? Ali El Moes. El Moes to take on. It's a good challenge by Sadio Mane. Inside his own penalty area. Castro I think he's fairly feisty in terms of uh, protecting his players we're going to see this challenge now I don't see a great deal wrong with that he did um, protecting like a mother hen his uh, players So it comes back no doubt in the post match, but <laughs> during the game. It has a very competitive nature. Mane. And Naimi forces him backwards. A little bit of a loose touch set. Oh, my word. Phil <laughs> Coutinho cut the crossfield pass out. And just for a moment, that's a ballooned off his foot there. I was thinking, is this going to be a goal of goals? Now, there is a look that I wouldn't want to see coming my way in the changing rooms afterwards. But I'm Philip Galtier. A couple of changes coming very shortly for Aldo Heil. The Haji, the Sunderland man. I believe the other one was Moussa, but we'll wait to see. Got to do something. I'm talking to a manager who always said that I want my players to go out with their heads held high, whether they win or lose, not going out with their tails down between their legs. Kim now with a bit of space. And that's what Gaultier will want from his side here. Kim shows too much. Brozovic, lovely ball to Mane. Mane now, can he fashion something going forward? Got space to run into. Fires it out far side to Al Gharib. Otavio. Al Naji, Otavio. Good tracking back this time by Madibo, although they've made a real mess of it. Bamba manages to get it to Kim. Kim again. Caught on the football, lucky he's got a push there from Sami Al Naji. In fairness to Kim Van Moon, he was on his way down as soon as he saw the yellow shirt of Al Naji getting close to him. Debo hasn't got a lot of options here. Does find Bamba. Bamba looks for Al Moez, easily cut out there by Al Ghanam, but uh, thrust upon by Al Naimi. Al Naimi's got Al Moez here. Al Moez picks it up now, chance to find something. 
Coutinho. The dancing feet again out to Ali Almoez. Chance for Alunga to get on this. Wide across, Alunga, can he finish? He's taken away from goal, and in the end is a very, very good save. I don't think he knew too much about it, though. Noah Alakidi, but he got out and got enough on it. And look at the... The celebratory antics of the keeper. Alunga maybe, although he got a good strike ultimately on the ball. If he had his time again, would possibly have wanted that to have been taken a bit earlier. Yep. Lihaji is coming on. to replace Ismail Mohamed. Moose is on as well now. Madivo. Lihaji. What can he do now? Got a fine fresh impetus, but he's been dispossessed by Mohamed. Intercepts. Mane finds Talisco, who's on a hat trick. Talisco, little layoff, got him. Talisco, that's his hat trick. Easily worked. Oh, got Eve, superb play there. And Talisco, well, as soon as the break was on, and that man now surely can just rest a touch. Anderson, Talisco. Did everything right there. Drove at Samedo. The overlap came from Garib. Garib just gave it him back, and by which time it opened up the space for Taliska just to sight, but it passed the onrushing Zakaria. And you fancy that his game set a match here. Ruben Samedo really had no option but to. Go across and the dancing boys are back in town. Teles, Taliska and Garib. Really good. Hat trick. Oh man, that's not so blue for the hat trick there. Little Nasser. Have really been in control of this game pretty much since they were poked hard in the ribs by Alder Hale's opener. It's going to be about pride in the final two games for Alder Hale. They will be at home to Istiklal next before travelling to Persepolis. And every point does matter in these tables. But a waving Taliska flag from the Saudi Arabian fans have witnessed a very, very measured riposte from Al Nasser after falling a goal behind. And that man, Philip Gaultier. Really does have a, a stern looking face now. He has spent the proportion of the game since taking the lead up against the relentless machine, in fairness. And as soon as that second goal went in to give the breathing space for Al Nasser. It was all set for the perfect away performance by the visitors because it meant that the home side, who needed so much from the game, had to come out and gaps would appear and they could bide their time and they always looked composed on the football. And they have pounced yet again. A hat-trick for Taliska. Samedo can Aldu Hale salvage some pride in this game. 
3-3 would be quite something, but uh, we'll wait to see if that goes. And Naimi has made way for Moussa. Just worked over by a, a very good side. Lovely flick on there by Coutinho. Almoez now with a chance to run forward. A little chance here of a break. Almoez taken on his man. Goes outside Almari. Cleared going back now by Sultan Alganam. Surprised they haven't used Almoez. A little bit more, he seems to have beaten of both Algalam and the centre half, Zalamari. This will be the first player, Maribo. Commentator who's looking at the way things sit on the field of play. This has at the moment the sense of balancing on the edge of maybe four or five one. Moreover than three one or three two. And it's in that little place now where Old Heil could find themselves. Rather wishing for the final whistle, should another goal go against them, and he wouldn't put it past Al Nasser the way they're stroking the ball around and commanding the game of doing exactly that. Tell us down the line, we'll get the return from Garib. Good defensive work ultimately coming back by Lahaji. Tellers has gone down in uh, a little bit of a heat. Duhal said there's nothing wrong here. Coutinho trying to get through a wall of yellow and blue. Otavio will go the other way. And the injury to Tellers is not quite so bad that they're going to put the ball out. Taliska, Mane. Till Tellez and Garib Brozovic Philip Coutinho. It's asking the questions how he didn't get a push there. Possibly thinking in the back of the, his mind. Uh, have I still got Unai Emery's telephone number? I'm sure I can do something at the Villa. Deliska skips away, plays the ball near side. Mane with a rather lackadaisical touch. Musa puts it away. It's going to be a throw though to Al Nasser. Brozovic and Otavia. There's just a sense here. And there's going to be no mistakes made, firstly, by Al Nasser. But if an opportunity arises, they're going to pounce on it. Good game management. Musa with the ball in his hands. Again, this body language is a little bit flat from some of the Elder Heil players. Olunga the target. Oh, that's a nice toast to Bamba. Bamba took his time, and in the end, it's just a trailing foot by Tellez, and Brozovic steps onto it, comes away. Algarib is the target. Kim tries to usher him away. Algarib. Alnaji, Algarib. <laughs> Not such a good pass ultimately, but that would have been a fine, fine goal if that had got to Mane and it buried him. A subtle change again that Taliska, who's done the damage, has gone back out on this near side, which is the right for Al Nasser, where he started. 
Sadio Mane is almost looking like a, a goal scorer that's now saying, well, I want to score. I'm trying to go back through the centre. It's a late one in the middle of the park. Madibo says, I think you'll find that's worthy of a yellow card. Another change. Mohamed Montari is about to come on. So the fans never know in the world of football is the pressure that's placed upon players. Change hasn't been made. Nihashi, Ken, Coutinho, Madibo, Coutinho. Has a little wand up, picks out Lahaji. Kim is the offside. He's pulled it back. Real chance here for Al Moez. Can he finish? The answer to that is no, and no flag goes up ultimately either. And it is uh, Ibrahima Bamba that goes off to be replaced by Mohamed Muntari. really don't want to put any words or any thoughts into anybody's head but that picture of Philip Coutinho sort of had a little look from my eyes and it is from my eyes only of commentator of what am I doing here puts his head down again but it's Mane to roll it back to Alganam Alganam down the line oh, lovely little flick very impressive, the 14, Sami Al Naji. Been busy, and uh, Musa under pressure has put the ball away for a corner. And if they're not careful here, they could be caught out. Mane quickly to Otavio. Brozovic. Scary how much in the ascendancy just by passing the football. Al Nasser look over Aldo Heil here. Alamri goes all the way back to Noah. Look at that space for Otavio. 10 15 metres, everybody's off. of it, time just to roll it back. And this is where you can see where the confidence has just been eroded with the performance of Al Nasser. Lahaji tries to work forward. Steps inside of Al Nasser. Coutinho gets it out of his feet. Little deflection by Brozovic, corner. He's given a penalty. Well, Brozovic, it seems like he's given a penalty here. The referee, who I think has been pretty impressive today, Tantashev Ildis. I'm going to say right now that in the words of the laws of association football, as written nowadays, his arm is away from his body and the ball strikes his arm. That is, as they call, a penalty nowadays. Had he any idea about it? Absolutely not a clue. His back was turned, his head was turned, and Brozovic wasn't even looking at the ball. But... Tantashev Ilgis saw it hit the arm, he's given the penalty, it's now going to be checked. But I don't think this can go anywhere but a penalty spot kick. It is a penalty, and, uh, and that's the application of the laws of association football as they stand now.
It is um, fairly obvious, but it's not a rule that I concur with. I think that there has to be mitigating circumstances. <laughs> not a happy man, by the way. I don't want to say anything. Luis Castro may well just walk out to the penalty spot if we're not too careful here. Well, it is a little route, a yellow card now for Brozovic, who's <laughs> maybe just made his point. Yeah, I could understand his his um, his dissent, but uh, rather silly, ultimately. Uh, to, uh, yeah, Tantashev Ilgiz, you know, he only enforces the laws of association football. Once it's been checked externally as well, Brozovic needs to just go away and calm down. Anyway, it's going to be Coutinho. Can he get his second of the game here? 80th minute of the game. Uh, it would throw a, a different complexion on the final 10 minutes, but uh, that's only if it's dispatched safely by the former Liverpool Barcelona man. And indeed, current villain on loan for a season. Scored on eight minutes, has a chance to score in the 80th minute. Standing in his way, Noah Alakidi Coutinho. And he fires it into the bottom corner. Alakidi got a hand to it, he's very, very upset. But it is 3 2. Into the bottom right hand of the keeper's net. And it was power ultimately that did it. And the Qatari fans now realise that uh, have they got a lifeline. And that man really is not, as we would say, a happy bunny. It's going to be a change. It is uh, Ahmed Ayman that is going to come on in a minute for Al Nasser. Interesting that uh, it is Abdul Al Gharib that's going off. For a man that's renowned for being a little bit of a defensive midfielder, which, um, if that is so, you would hate to think that Al Nasser would be conceding ground in an attempt just to win the game. 3 2. They served up seven goals in the first match two weeks ago, they've served up five today. Mane may well get a yellow card here for delaying the restart. He is worth a ticket himself, isn't he, Luis Castro? He is a very animated coach on the on the touchline. He's got his steps in today through that massive technical area. Alunga tries to run in behind Alunga. There's a degree with Michael Alunga. He has a great physical presence, but you almost feel as though he's still trying to grow into that framework. That little turn inside wasn't the greatest. It looked a little bit uh, gangly, but now Coutinho with a chance. He's on a hat trick up to the feet of Alunga. Coutinho gets it back, but well, he's asked too much for that. Moes. But what a difference a goal makes. Christophe Galtier would love to be out there playing himself, you fancy. And it's Al Nasser now, giving away possession. Coutinho, Al Moes, Coutinho again. Would have been a nice move. He has to go across Al Nasri with a little nibble. And all of a sudden. Just all of a sudden, Al Nasser are, make, are making their own problems. That's an awful challenge, in fairness.
Bit of asking for a car there. A little too far out, you fancy, for a dart. The story so far of this game now as we move is how can you be so comfortably 3 1 ahead and managing the game so well and suddenly find yourself within six and a half regulation minutes of the end, worrying that you may let this slip away for a point? Almoes. Coutinho, different angle with the cross, decent one in, chested down, Alunga, what a superb bit of defensive work that is by Abdul Almri. Really was good, chested down beautifully. By Montari. Oh, it's a different game now, isn't it? It's a six-minute game plus stoppage time for Aldo Heil. What a bounce in their toes here. Delivered high hanging ball. Alunga with the header. Comes off. Alamri and goes away. Oh, I thought that definitely deflected off the back of the man's head. And uh, well, it's, it is the arm, but it's against the body. So that, that is not a penalty. But it's definitely a corner. Definitely a corner. It's all kicking off because I think the ref. No, he hasn't given a penalty. For the love of Ada, he has not given a penalty here, surely. Pantashev, Ilgis. The calmest man, he's having a little look. I It's a corner. <laughs> Even I, your commentator, had a little bit of a, a sweat on there. One more could Alamri have done. Apart from popping his clavicle out, dropping his arm down and wrapping it right around the other side of his body. Very little. Corner! But it's 3 2. Elder Heil on the attack. Alunga with a header, got above his man. It is all becoming lively. What a ridiculous game football is. It is an absolutely ridiculous game, this. Maribo's going off to be replaced by Khaled. And when I say that, you have witnessed this 90 minutes, whatever persuasion you are, whether you are Al Nasser or indeed Al Dehayel. But Al Nasser were wandering, they were in charge, they were managing the game so well. And then the incident for the penalty it was a penalty to the rules, the laws of football. And all of a sudden, upside down and back to front. And Al Nasser now looked like a side that have just squeaked in front and they're trying to hang on to it. Absolutely bizarre, this game. That's why we love it so. The easiest way for Al Nasser to deal with this, go and get another goal, but they're not really retaining possession all of a sudden. Coutinho. Khaled. Nihaji. Yusuf Ayman. Oh, just show too much, and... Sami Al Nasser very quickly to put pressure on his man. Abdulamadu is about to come on now for Al Nasser. And, uh, this time it is Philip Gaultier who's saying we'll have these minutes added on if you don't mind. Injury come there. Sami Al Naji for me was looking around. But every football side will do it. You just take a moment, you just get the trainer on, you just kill the moment, take the sting out of the home sides. 
momentum. Just try and take a few bits of wind out of the sail so they don't keep coming forward. But what is it about? What is it about having a two-goal lead? Abdullah Madhu comes on to replace the man that went down injured, Sami Al Naji. Well, I'm going to tell you, and I don't often say this about many games, but if there's six or seven or eight or nine minutes added on to this, I think we're in for a bit of a treat. <laughs> My word, there will be a sort of miniature Mexican wave if the minutes aren't as many as they think on the bench of uh, Aldo Heil, I can tell you that as well. Talisca, who got a yellow card in the arguments just moments ago. Out there by Musa. Subtle kick away there by Sultan Al Ganan. I do wonder if uh, Luis Castro is only about 22, but obviously he plays every game. So he really has kicked every ball today, and that's why I think he has the title of a silver fox down there. No. Oh, Kidi goes long, Mane surely under his player, yep, Musa goes down. Kim. Khaled. Musa. Couldn't see the board then, just glancing at it, it's eight minutes. Eight minutes to be added on. Otavio. Gets away from Philip Coutinho, accepts the tug on the arm. Which is very similar to one in the first half, but I don't see a card coming out, maybe. Time to chef Ilgis is hoping his eight minutes evaporates quickly, because he's sitting on a little cauldron out there, you fancy. Teles. And turning on the far side. Oh, yeah. Ahmad Hyman. Well, I think those little breaks in play have just sort of taken the growing ground swell of momentum. Carled. Low centre of gravity, he's got away Otavio, who's... Uh... Whoa, Otavio, oh, how silly was that? Oh, Luis Castro's in there, the whole... Everybody's deciding it's time for a go, and I have to say that Otavio was the agitator, the aggressor in that. Khaled was on the floor, but as we well know, you don't retaliate. But Otavio just, you know, that you're talking of time added on. Otavio's been there, but he's just suddenly decided that he's going to have more nibbles at that than me at a buffet at a wedding. He's really nibbled at the ball on the floor. Ahmed's then, uh, Khaled's then reacted. Otavio's gone down like he's been taken out in a thriller in Manila. And then shortly after that, I can't really tell you what happened as everybody converged. In ice hockey, it's called a bench clearance. And Khaled has been sent off. It will be for the retaliation, but here he goes down. This is where there's no need at that point. There's no need for Otavio to be doing this. And then, of course, Almoez, who's the captain, says come away, and Carla takes the opportunity for a, to thrust a bit of an arm in. And that, you know, that's... The aggressor is Otavio. And then after that, we just turn into... A, Ferris will mix team photo, it could have been opportunities there, but Khaled is definitely gone. Well, 
would like to see. Do we think that Otavio knows exactly what he was doing? You know, there's four. There's four I can count. And it was the uh, innocent party ultimately. I thought he'd actually quite a good game in fairness, Carly, since he came on. Low centre of gravity, he was doing really well. Came off comes the gigantic figure of Otavio, who stood a good two or three inches higher than him, and now Alder Hale are down to ten men. Olunga now tries to break in. Alassa to Liska now coming back through the centre, Musa. Musa by man. Senior loses out to Tuliska Brozovic. Just rolls it back now. Just I don't know how many minutes are going to be added on to the eight that were to be added on for that little, as we call it over here, kerfuffle on the touchline. Kerfuffle's a really good word. Mane tries to run in behind Musa. Mane across the face, a goal! And it's going to go in. No, it's not. It's cleared by Lihaji. Ahmad oh, Ayman thought he was going to get a tap in. So that would have been close on the offside. I think the linesman was totally in the wrong place, but uh, I'm not going to be too critical. But I know who was in the right place. It was Lihaji. Ellis take his time with the throw in. Taliska on a full timer. Can he finish? Pulls it back. Samedo gets a bit on it. Hooked away by Almoez. The longest foul. been an enjoyable game between these two. Musa with a poor header, Otavio. Taliska to target. Pim gets across, Taliska waits for the bouncing ball. Brozovic. That man, I man. Savio, Ayman, Mane, Brozovic, Mane goes for the return, Ruben Samedo's there, so is Salah Zakaria. Well, those worrying moments been quelled by Al Nasser when the penalty went in to bring it back to two apiece, uh, three two I should say, not two apiece. And uh, since then Al Nasser have returned to managing the ball. And ten man Aldo Heil. Saw their chances go when a little bit of a, a nibble by Otavio. On Khaled, ended up with uh, Khaled lashing out. Coutinho. Oh, Moes would have been a space. Well, it's going to have to be a little wee bit more direct now as we move it to the end of the eight minutes that were to be added, but there was that kerfuffle in the middle, so maybe another couple of minutes to go. Al Moes, Kim. Al Moes again. Kim wasn't ready for that. Does well, Kim comes forward, goes squared up to Coutinho for the hat-trick, dribbles it in, blocks and goes away. 
Corner to Old Royal. The Qatari side looking for that equaliser that would mean so much. Well, I think that Coutinho's a target on the volley. Well, he got he meant it well. A nice pick out, just sliced across it. We're into the hundredth minute of the game. Sadio Mane is going to have a rest for the final few moments of the game. How <laughs> many as there are left? Oh, Hassan is coming on. Coutinho, Musa, Al Moev back inside to Coutinho. Forward step over by Al Amain. Al Moez can he give all the ball back? Yusuf, well, he just wondered if there was good luck at his anger. And that's what football does to you. That. In a soup song, that picture in front of you is what football does to you when you're emotionally tied and wrapped up in a game. I think it was something somebody once quoted to me, it's the hope that kills you. And Aldo Heil had hope when they went a goal up. All extinguished at 3-2, and hope came flooding back at 3-2 when it got the penalty. And it got flattened a wee bit by the sending off of Carled. And now they're trying to pinch an all-important equaliser. And the fans are hoping, hoping, hoping. Ayman, Ahmad Ayman trying to take the ball away and just need a few more seconds up. Kim does well, Ayman's still on the football, Kim's still having a nibble. He doesn't mind Ayman, he'll take it all the way along that line until it goes out. Referee says that is enough. They shared seven goals two weeks ago and they share five goals tonight. Well, two players shared two, five goals tonight. Coutinho with one on eight minutes. Crossed by Lunga, turned in by Coutinho. Then it was the Tiliska show. Span and got one on 27, five one in from 30 yards on 37. And then finished a nice move off on 65 for his hat trick. Coutinho then got. Abrozovic straight arm to give him a penalty to make it 3-2. We still had time for a bit of feistiness as Otavio was hacking away at a loose ball around the legs of Khaled, who was on the floor, and that led to all manner of altercations on the touchline. Khaled got a straight red, De Gea went down to 10, but ultimately the game was won, and that man there, Anderson Taliska with a hat-trick, has been the man that has broken the hearts of the Qatari side, Alduhail. And they are now through to the round of 16, Al Nasser. Job done. And they did it without the rested Cristiano Ronaldo. All but over now. Still some rounds to go, but it's pride for Alduhail in the next games. Five goals this time, seven before, but it's five goals that go the way of Al Nasser winning by three goals to two here at the Khalifa International Stadium. But it was an interesting, it was a very, very good game to watch and it had every emotion you could actually wish for. All the action, all the goals. They were thoroughly entertained inside the Khalifa Stadium. Two for Coutinho for Al Dahil and three for Anderson Taliska for Al Nasser. That is how it's ended on a great night for the AFC Champions League Group E. It's been a wonderful night. Thank you very much for joining us. Finished here, Al Duhal 2, Al Nasser 3.